Hello ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ghost Warrior 38 here and today I'm bringing you another uh, video for today. Today I wanted to look at two spaghetti westerns that had come out during the 60s. This is Sergio Corbucci's Django starring Franco Nero. Most of you are probably more familiar with the film that was with Jamie Foxx. But this is the original one from the 60s. Here it is in its um, hardcover case. This is brand new. I got this off of eBay. Same thing with this. Um, except this one I got like new. The When I bought this one, the plastic was already off. This is the regular release of the Sartana collection. He's sort of like a cowboy James Bond. He has some gadgets here and there. Um, all of the movies are on the streaming service Tubi. It is free to watch, same as Django, except they are the dubbed versions of the films. Uh, whoop, moving that back aside here. This is the special edition. Uh, there was a limited edition release on this originally, and that runs a little over $100, mostly because it contains a little booklet. I don't understand why they didn't just release the booklet in all of the versions. This is literally just the same thing. A collection of extras. On the back of the box says, Clint Eastwood's Man With No Name spawned imitations, variations, and shameless rip-offs. Keen to emulate his success at the box office mo within months of Fistful of Dollars release, Giuliano Gemma was playing Ringo, who was then followed by Franco Nero's Django, Tony Anthony's The Stranger, and Johnny Garco's Sartana, each pro providing their own twist on the Eastwood antihero, and each of them subject to their own spate of unofficial sequels, spoofs, and cash-ins. Sartana tapped into more than just his spaghetti western predecessors. A mysterious figure, he has a spectral quality, aided by his Count Dracula-like cloak, which you'll see on Light the Fuse, Sartana is Coming cover, um, which also nods toward comic strip figure Mandrake the Magician, with whom he shares a penchant for card tricks. He takes pride in his appearance, unlike Eastwood's Dusty Wanderer or Nero's mud caked drifter and there's also a dose of james bond in his fondness for gadgetry and the droll sense of humor unsurprisingly this unique figure in the genre was treated to four unofficial follow-ups the complete sartana collects all five of them presented in restora brand new restorations if you meet sartana pray for your death which was the very first one i am sartana your angel of death which was the second one have a good funeral Sartana will pay. Um, Sar uh, Sartana will pay. Light the fuse. Sartana is coming. And Sartana's here. Trade your pistol for a coffin. In which George Hilton replaced Garko in the lead role. Um, extra features. Uh, 2K restoration for if you meet Sartana, pray for your death. Um... Same thing with Angel of Death, basically all the other films. Original Italian and English soundtracks, audio, new Ellie added English subtitles, optional English subtitles for the hearing impaired, audio commentaries on um, Pray for Your Death by the filmmaker, and, I, and also in I Am Sartani, Your Angel of Death and Have a Good Funeral. By Spaghetti Western experts J. Courtney Joyner and Henry Park. G. and Franco Paolini on If You Meet Sartana, Pray For Your Death, a brand new interview with the writer-director. Light the Fuse, Sartana's casting, a video essay guide on many familiar faces in the Sartana films. Sal Borgi, Borgi's on I Am Sartana, Your Angel of Death, and Light the Fuse. Two new interviews with the actor Ernesto Gastaldi on I Am Sartana, Your Angel of Death, and Light the Fuse. Brand new interviews with the writer, Sartana Shoots First, a brand new interview with George Hilton on Sartana's Here, Erica Blank on Sartana's Here, brand new interview with the actress, Tony Askin on Sartana's Here, Trade Your Pistol for a Coffin, a brand new interview with the actor, 
And then basically it just talks about other interviews. Sartana lives, an archival featurette on Light the Fuse. Sartana is coming, featuring interviews with Johnny Garko. Um, so in so in Light the and so in Light the Fuse, you'll actually see an interview with Garko himself and Giuliano Carnimio, Carnimo, and then galleries of promotional images and artwork from the Mike Siegel archive and reversible sleeves with original artwork and newly commissioned artwork for the films. Just showing you this one first. The uh, Some of these are the original art... are the... Um, original artwork. This one here with I Am... If You Meet Sartana, Pray For Your Death is the newly commissioned artwork. But starting from these ones in the back, this is Light the Fuse. This is the disc. Have a good funeral, my friend. Sartana will pay. Trade your pistol for a coffin. This is the one where Garko did not come back for the role. In the first two, he came back. And in the last two, he came back. This is the second movie. And then in the back, here is the alternate artwork. And then here is the first film. And then inside is the original. Like all Arrow films, you get a little slit, you get a little insert here, and it just gives you a rundown on all the features. And that was the look at the Sartana films. Now we're going to be looking at the. Corbucci's Django, starring Franco Nero. On the back here, it gives some information about both movies that are included on here. Um, with Django, right, director Sergio Corbucci, who also directed The Great Silence, Up the Ante for Sadism and Sensationalism in Westerns, Depicting machine gun massacres, mud fighting prostitutes, and savage mutilations. A huge hit for international audiences, Django's brand of bleak nihilism would be repeatedly emulated in a, a raft of unofficial sequels. So opening this up here, and I'll get right back to you folks. And we have it out of the packaging. The, the, there's a little sleeve that's taped to the box. All the information here. That's the back of the packaging. Then here's a view of the contents. Taking everything out here, putting this off to the side. We have a booklet here. Very nice cover with an uh, image with Franco Nero. This book is basically filled with a whole bunch of essays and some behind the scenes photos. Really nice poster art, and that's the alternate cover art for the Django sleeve, for the reversible cover. Uh, the D is silent, a legend is born. Just some behind the scenes images. Django story, the legend continues. The other Sergio in Italian cinema. Sergio Corbucci. Because, of course, this came out before Sergio Leone's Dollars Trilogy. Here's one of the other posters, Sergio Corbucci on Django. The short extract is taken from Sergio Corbucci, a collection of Sergio Corbucci's memoirs. This extract is taken from a, Django call, from a chapter called Che Simpatico, which... Um, Okay, it's the Italian title, but it's translated to What a Nice Guy Notes for an Autobiography. 
Django Contemporary Reviews. These are original reviews that appeared at the time. And these were translated into English. The critics were unanimous agreement about the film's gruesomeness. Texas Adios and the second film. The cut to the action, the films of Federico Baldi. And then just some behind the scenes photos on that film as well. This was supposed to be one of the unofficial Django sequels because it starred Franco Nero. But it has nothing to do with. Django, Texas Audios Contemporary Reviews. But yeah, and that's that. That's about the book here. This is a reversible poster. One of these is the image that, both of these are images that we saw in the book, so I'm not going to really unfold it. Basically, it's this image, full size, and uh, this image, except different background for Django, for reference. And then here's the movie itself. Django and Texas Adios, both Blu-rays. There's the reversible cover art. Whoops. Oh, well, I'll pop that back into place after we're done. A little ad for their titles. And then you get some lobby cards with some still photos from the film. Good, nice shot with Franco Nero. Some nice little extras. Putting those back in there. Popping that back into place too. And that's my brief little look over on Django and Sartana. I have seen a little bit of these on Tubi, but I am glad to have physical copies of these westerns. These will now join my collection of other westerns with Clint Eastwood, Tom Selleck, and Sam Elliott. I have more westerns than just the ones I showed you in the photo. I also have The Outlaw, Josie Wales, and Pale Rider. I'll do a small little video showing my western collection here after this one. But until then, I hope you guys liked this sort of video. If you did, please be sure to comment your favorite western film and subscribe to stay up to date on more content just like this. And be sure to turn your bell settings on to all. Until then, I will see you guys next time, so take care, have a good rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are in the world, and peace.